So McFarlane Toys is now putting wired capes on their action figures and they're not any more expensive than usual. What is going on here? And is this the end of the age of the clunky capes forever? So McFarlane is now coming out with wired capes. This is crazy news. I never thought we would ever get something with wired capes on, you know, the average $20 to $25 action figure. And here we are. It's the, the dawn of a new era. So typically with McFarlane figures, you'll get like a Batman or a Superman. You get the, the clunky, you know, thick plastic or rubber, whatever it is, cape, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It just kind of comes with the territory of buying a figure that's at the $20 price point. And you know, that's, that's fine. You can always go and make your own custom one like I did over here. I made a whole video about how I made this custom cape for my Attenson Batman back in the day. And you know, it's not the best. I'm not a professional at this kind of thing, but I think it came out pretty good. This right here is the McFarlane Toys first appearance of Batman from Detective Comics 27. You know, the classic first appearance of Batman. And this one's got a wired cape. This was actually sent over to me from McFarlane Toys. Thank you so much, McFarlane Toys. They sent me this along with uh, a bunch of other really great figures like this Azrael Batman from Night Send. Like this is an absolutely sweet looking figure. We get the Batfleck figure from my favorite movie ever, Batman vs. Superman. Uh, so I'm, I'm personally very excited about this figure. So I actually wanna try something new. I wanna give this figure away right here. So if you wanna comment down below your favorite Batman, along with either your Instagram or your Twitter handle, I'll randomly pick someone and I'll respond and send it out to you. Do that right away. Oh, also make sure you like the video too. Okay, let's uh, hurry up and open this guy up so we can check out how nice his cape is. Oh, we might have a little bit of a loose uh, hand going on here. So if you're interested in picking up any of these guys here in this video, I'll have the links in the description so you can grab these guys for yourself because man, they are some good looking Batman. These are some good looking Batman. Man, I'm, I'm finding it hard to believe how we get a figure that looks this good, comes with four extra hands, a wired cape, and then all the other goodies, stands and card, like all for $22.99. Like, I don't really get how they're able to do that and make a profit from it. <laughs> it's kind of amazing. I mean, the figure alone looks good. The paint and the, the, the proportions look really great. I mean, it's nothing totally different than the typical McFarlane. So the one thing I'm noticing about the cape itself and I think it makes sense is it is definitely a cheapish kind of material it's almost like a plasticky type of fabric if you feel this and get one of these for yourself you'll know what I mean but it kind of works I like that because it still keeps these folds very well like there's very clear like folds along the cape and I think that is cool and it looks good so because how plasticky it is it's gonna always keep those like those very defined folded creases in the cape so I read like Detective Comics 27 a long time ago just because I wanted to see what it, you know the first appearance of Batman was like and it was very goofy but I don't remember what this is from. Uh, I don't know if this is like the murder weapon in whatever case he was solving at the time. I don't remember. Somebody please let me know. All right, let's see how we can pose the cape. All right. Wow, that's incredible. It looks so good. It looks really good. I like how stiff the cape is because if you get really nice soft fabric, it kind of flumps down a little bit. And because it's so thick like this, it stays stiff in the air and makes it helps with posing even more. I also want to give a shout out to these extra hands. Like extra hands are huge. So that's like the best possible accessory I could ask for. Man, this is just crazy to me that these capes are on here. I never would have thought we would ever see wired capes on this price point for figures, and I'm so excited. There's definitely a few other McFarlane figures, Batman coming out very soon, or that are already out that have the wired cape. That's really exciting. And I'd be surprised if it was every single cape going forward. It'll probably just be some specialty ones, but hey, you never know. Maybe it'll be all of them going forward. Maybe Hasbro will react and start putting wired capes on their figures. Who knows? <laughs> but man, I'm very impressed. Good job, McFarlane. Good job.
So before I go out and take some toy photos with this guy, it is a shooting and reviewing video. So before I do that, let me know. I'm curious what you're thinking about these wired capes. Like, are you as blown away as I am? Or do you think I'm totally overreacting and blowing this out of proportion? <laughs> Please let me know. I'd, I'd love to know for sure. But yeah, I'm gonna go take this guy out in, in downtown and see if I can get some cool shots with him out in, in the middle of town with some lights and stuff. Okay, so I'm out here in downtown Cohoes, New York. Nothing special. But I'm trying something that I've always thought about doing, but I've, I've never done before. And so here we go. Let me show you what I've got. So I've got Batman all posed up like that with the cape and everything. I think it looks really cool. And I've got all those fancy lights in the background. And uh, it kind of looks like Batman's jumping, you know, from the rooftops, which is kind of cool. And I've got one of my loom cubes up there couple over here and that's honestly it it's incredibly simple it's a very simple shot and I actually have it all propped up on like a newspaper stand thing <laughs> and I'm, I'm very excited about this it's incredibly simple and I'm just using what I got here are my settings right now I'm at f 3.5 I'm actually using my macro lens I actually use for filming because I wasn't sure if I was gonna get super close to him or not but I'm still kind of close and my shutters at 0.4 right now very slow because it's quite dark out I'm at f 3.5 which is the lowest this lens can go my ISO is at 400 like always so i'm just gonna fiddle around and do some different angles and see what i can get with this shot so here we go Having a wired cape on an action figure really makes a massive difference and I'm really impressed and so happy that McFarlane is doing this and I think this might even change the standard for action figures in general. For us collectors, I can't wait to see what happens going forward. Let me know what you think about this. Are you going to get one of these? I'd love to know. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider liking it and subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.